So I went ahead and did my brows off camera. There is a video on how I do my eyebrows currently up. So if you wanna know how I got my eyebrows, click on that link up there. It'll take you straight to a brow tutorial. But here we are gonna get straight into this holiday inspired look. I want this look to be warm cranberry with gold. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start off with this soft orange and we're gonna bring that all over the outer area into almost the crease. But I am gonna bring it also upwards into the brow bone. Now I'm gonna grab a deeper color and I'm gonna bring it into the crease and basically focusing this in circular motion. So when I go back in to blend that orange, we have absolutely no problem doing so. And this is what you should have at the moment. Now we're gonna take that cranberry color and we're gonna place it right on the outer area. What I like to do is pat the darker shades in and then grabbing the fluffier brush you were using before and start blending only the outer areas out. This will give you a softer application while still getting all the pigment out of the dark shade that you just applied on your outer corner or lid. And see how it just blends beautifully. All right guys, now that I am buffing everything out, I'm gonna go back in again with that orange shade and basically bringing it only on the outer areas to kind of help um, the transitions be a lot smoother. But as you can see, it is blending out so nicely. Once you get to a good blend, what you wanna do is grab a flat brush then grab whatever shimmer you want to add to the inner corner and basically pat it on and also kind of shape it out um, with your eye. That way, if you are not comfortable doing a full cut crease, this will give you the illusion of a half cut crease, but necessarily only using your shimmer, which is great for those beginner cut creases. Um, this is how I started learning how to do a cut crease and you can see that you still get that drama But you're not using a concealer. You're basically just using a lighter um, Shimmer that will blend it beautifully into the darker shades And I do this on both sides of the eyes um, This is just a gold shimmer from the Amazon's fine palette I will link everything I used down below, so if you are interested, look how pretty that is. All right, guys, I'm gonna zoom you guys out so we can start with the face. Right, guys, I didn't zoom you guys too far out because I still wanna be able to focus on the face without having you guys too far away. I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This stuff is amazing. I normally just do two pumps or half a pump on the back of my hand and I basically um, use my finger to apply it all over um, the face. And this is how I normally apply it. This is a full coverage foundation. I personally love applying my foundation with a brush. This is the Flower Beauty powder brush, I think. Um, I normally just grab whatever is left on my hand on the brush and go into my face and start buffing the foundation out. It's super easy and you guys will see how beautifully the um, brush applies my foundation. It's also super quick, so when I am on the go or doing my makeup in the car, I'm just like, <laughs> you know. I've been using this technique for about a year and I don't think I've used a beauty blender since. It's just so much easier as you can see my foundation blends out really really nicely onto 
the skin and it's just super fast and super quick let's move on to concealer i actually am running super low on concealer at the moment I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild concealer. This guy is, is super affordable and also very handy. A little bit goes a long way. And also for concealer, I love a brush. Just grab my little brush and start applying all around notice how I don't drag the foundation though or the concealer with both brushes I basically pat them on without really lifting my brushes I find this technique to blend everything so nicely and it just it works for me I'm also using daylight guys, so if my daylight starts to run out, I'm gonna turn on my ring light and light, but I thought today was a beautiful Sunday to sit down and do makeup. Since yesterday, I spent all afternoon editing a blog from Thanksgiving and accidentally ended up deleting the whole thing. So that is why I'm sitting here recording a makeup tutorial because it's been a while and I figured I would just sit down, relax, and do my makeup in front of my camera. Let me know if you would like more tutorials though. I feel like this is why I started YouTube and I slowly started moving away from it. I have, however, been posting a lot of TikTok tutorials, so if you don't follow me on there, make sure you go follow me. It's also under by Lilibet, and I've been posting daily on there. Okay, so I actually haven't been setting my under eyes, but gentle break. So I'm gonna contour my face. I don't know why, but lately I've been loving grabbing some um, foundation on my brush and just blending it straight to my face. Um, I don't grab too much though because this foundation is really, really pigmented. So I notice that if I grab too much, I end up just having a huge stain almost on my cheeks. So I try to grab as little as I can and just blend, blend, blend. So for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome to a beauty segment. Um, honestly, this is my cup of tea. I love doing makeup tutorials. I love bronzing my face in it, but hopefully I can bring it back for you guys that love makeup tutorials a little bit more. Um, yeah, here I'm just adding a little bit of bronzer to the face, and that is what you're gonna have at first. Um, don't be too scared to go in and add a little bit more. But before I go in any for further, I'm gonna grab some of my powder to really define my cheeks. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of bronzer. Actual bronzer. This is gonna really help shape your face. Woo, okay. This trick I learned from Naked Tutorials is you contour the heck out of your nose and then you go back in with um, setting powder and it blends out so nicely that you don't even notice all the contour that you end up doing to your nose. So if you want a super tiny, tiny nose, don't be scared to contour the heck out of your nose because I promise you it's gonna look just fine as soon as we are done with all of this makeup. I find that when I'm a little more relaxed and not so like, okay, I'm filming strictly makeup tutorials, um, I enjoy it a little bit more. So now that I went ahead and added an actual powder, um, just now I'm gonna go in 
and dust off all the powder but we're gonna go back in and actually define the nose so this is what you want to do is you actually want to grab a little blender let me grab one Now that the powder is applied, I'm gonna grab my highlighting palette and I'm gonna just highlight the tip of my nose right there and up here. So far, so good. I'm gonna add a little bit of a blush because I think that's all that the look is missing besides some lashes. Once I add my lashes, I'm gonna dust off the powder. You could finish the look up by adding a little bit of eyeshadow underneath the eye. I think I'm gonna add this shade. I'm gonna go off camera to add some eyelashes. So I went ahead and added some lashes, dusted the powder off my nose and also um, added a little bit of highlight in the inner corner and on the brow bone. Now I'm gonna walk you guys through how I've been lining my lips to get the fuller look effect. I also wanted to do my hair, but my piercings are still getting caught in my hair and it just hurts, so I ended up putting it up in a ponytail. So you're gonna wanna outline just right underneath your lip line and then fill in on the corners. Now for the top lip, Watch what I do and hopefully it makes sense. Now let me zoom you guys in to the eyes. That is such a pretty eye look, perfect for the holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Definitely let me know if you would like to see more of these kind of get ready's with me. All right guys, that is everything for today's video. Definitely let me know if you enjoyed it, this kind of tutorial. I love getting ready with you guys on camera. If you would like to see more of these kind of videos, definitely let me know down below. Don't forget to give my video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you haven't subscribed, make sure to be subscribed and turn on that little bell so you are notified every time I upload a video. Stay safe and healthy and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.